The newest incident, police say, involved a drunken break in at a house near campus. WLWT News 5's Tammy Mutasa has the very latest information about the charges. Curtis sophomore linebacker Marcus Tappan is the sixth UC football player arrested in just two months. He's charged with disorderly conduct, underage drinking, and having a fake ID. Tonight, UC students are weighing in on all the arrests. Jay should represent their team on and off the field. According to court documents, UC linebacker Marcus Tappan was slurring his speech, smelled of alcohol, and admitted he drank when police busted him trying to break into this house. You don't always hear about just the normal people who get in trouble, but when it's athletes and things like that, it's a big deal, and everyone hears about them getting in trouble, and that makes us look even worse. Around 1 a.m., police say the 19 year old threw bricks through a window at the 2400 block of Ohio and was seen climbing in to retrieve property. He was with two or more people, including Northwestern football player Russell Walsh, helping him get in, according to police. I think that the football players, uh, it's important for them, just like it is any member of any organization, it's important for them to realize that they represent something bigger. That's now six players who've been in trouble with the law in the last two months. Just last weekend, UC's backup quarterback, Jared Evans, was arrested after punching a student unconscious. Four other Bearcat players faced charges after an incident at an off campus party back in September. The football players and all the athletes here are people that we're supposed to be looking up to and striving to be almost in some ways. Um, and so I think. I mean, it doesn't make it look good, but it's just like all the other students. I don't think it's counting the other students to get in trouble, too. I spoke with the students who live at the house, and they declined to comment, but they did tell me they were not home at the time of the alleged break in and did not press any charges. Reporting from UC, Tammy Mutasa, WLWT News 5.